Welcome to CERN. <laughs> and indeed, welcome to CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva. Welcome to the CERN Control Center. This is a view of the LHC underground tunnel. The LHC is the protagonist today. It's uh, poised for another of its world records. We are trying to put to take the energy of the LHC to 7 tera electron volt to get collisions at 7 tera electron volt. This is the first attempt in history. Today, March the 30th, 2010, we've tried to reach the highest energy yet achieved in a particle accelerator. This is going to happen in uh, around three hours or so, and hopefully it's going to mark the start of the LHC research program and a new era into the history of particle physics. Good morning. I think we start with a short overview of uh, what we did uh, yesterday. Here you can see from uh, the fixed display that we have, uh, the ramps that we did from, from yesterday morning up to this morning at about uh, 6 o'clock. What uh, we mainly did is uh, checks for uh, the machine protection, essentially, to be ready for a collision at 3.5 TV. We declare then stable beams with a non-colliding batch pattern to verify to have a period of about two hours for uh, verifying uh, 3.5 TV. We got also feedbacks uh, from, from the experiment, from the beam gas interaction to get an idea of uh, the beam position at the, at the IP. We started then uh, filling again after dumping, dumping these beams at 5 o'clock. Now with the uh, bunches uh, in the colliding position. We started the ramp at 6.02 and at 6.17, unfortunately, we had a triple power power converter. So the beams were uh, lost. We recycled the machine. The, inje the injection started at 8 o'clock and the ramp should be starting uh, now or, uh, or very soon. And I think then, uh, uh, thinking where soon we should be ready after ramping at 3.5 TV for collision today. I think everybody is, uh, is anxious to go down and uh, look for, uh, for the ramp and then for uh, setting the beam in, uh, in collision. Eh? Thank you. Needles on both sides of the Atlantic and make them collide right in the middle. That comparison